Alright guys, how's it going? I'm going to teach you how to use the mouse in this uh, tutorial, playing Elite. Uh, a lot of people are really struggling with this. Uh, a lot of people on the forums are saying, you know, you can't play with the mouse, you need to buy a joystick, or you need a really, really good mouse in order to make it work. Neither of those is, is true. Uh, you can, you know, play the game perfectly well with a bog standard mouse. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to set it up, assuming that you do have a bog standard mouse. Now, I think the best way to do this is maybe just go straight to the basic combat tutorial. Uh, and once I get there, I'm going to set up my key binds, or my mouse binds. And I'm just going to show you how to destroy the ship, or at first, just to stay on target. Yeah, and then uh, we can finish off at the end. Right, so hit escape, into options, controls, and we'll start with an empty slate. Now, you need a way to roll, so I'm going to go mouse X axis to roll, and the Y axis will be normal pitch. Now, normal pitch means when I move the mouse up, I, I will move up, and if I put it to pitch inverted, moving up would move me down. I'm just going to go with pitch because it seems, when I use a joystick I prefer it inverted, but with a mouse I prefer it to be normal. Uh, you can figure that one out. Uh, right, so sensitivity is kicking about, what's that, 30%-ish? That's relative mouse rate. We're not going to use this because this only counts when you set your relative mouse x-axis and relative mouse y-axis to on. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, you can check some other video if you want to know what those do. To me, I don't really see the point of it. We've got dead zone, you've got a mouse power curve which is at zero as well. Right, now we need to put this yaw into roll off. Don't want that, that can just confuse stuff. Uh, right, now what else are we going to need? I'm not going to bother with pitching up, or, I'm sorry not pitching up, I'm not going to bother with yaw at all. So I'm only going to use the mouse uh, to destroy this target just to show that it can be done without even the fine tuning of using the yaw on the keyboard. Right, we need to increase the throttle somehow. So I'm going to go with mouse up, sorry, mouse scroll wheel up, and to de decrease the throttle, I'm going to scroll wheel down. Now what else do I need? Right, we need a way to fire, obviously, yeah? So, I'll just stick engine boost to space bar as well, just in case I ever need to use that. Uh, target ahead, I'm going to use the mouse 5, which is a thumb button. If you don't have that, you can use you can use button 2, yeah, because we're not even going to use the second mouse button in this one. Primary fire can be mouse 1. Now, I guess that's pretty much all that's needed. A way to roll, a way to pitch, and increase the throttle and fire. Is that all that's required? I believe so. Now, let's check and see that the mouse widget is on as well. Right, so I want to show the mouse widget because that will help to explain how, how this is all going to work. So there's the values there that really count right now is the mouse sensitivity, the dead zone and the power curve. These are the three that you're going to be changing in order to get, you know, workable mouse settings. So we'll get started. Right, now straight away I can tell this is way too sensitive, yeah. Small movements are moving me way too far. Offline. Right, now I just use my thumb button there to target this uh, sidewinder here. For some reason, ah, right, I forgot to change. When you're setting your throttle to your scroll mouse up and down, you also want to change this throttle increment. So make it 12.5%, see. Right, so every time I scroll the mouse uh, up, using the the mouse wheel, it will go 12.5%. Right, I can barely control this. <laughs> now, this is a lot of people are doing this and saying, the, you know, the mouse controls are completely out to lunch and there's no way you can do it. But yeah, I mean, if you're trying to fly like this, uh, then yeah, there's no way you're going to be able to do anything. Right, so all I need to do is press the fire button uh, and that brings out my guns. Right, I'm having a real hard time staying on target. Just about do it sort of. But no, I'm going to go into my options. Right, so first thing first, mouse sensitivity way down. So let's put it out to about 20%. Uh, 
Yeah, let's say 20%, see how that helps. Right, that's helped a lot, but as you can see, I'm now turning pretty sluggishly compared to what I was before, yeah? So while I feel that I've got a lot more stability over it, I'm losing in the actual ability to, you know, turn. I'm still, I still roll up and down quite nicely. Now I should mention that you also, there's a big difference. If you look at the, my, th my throttle at the right of my scanner, yeah, I'm in the blue bar. So that's, that's helping an awful lot. It might even be a little bit too sensitive in some ways. Let's see if I can stay on target with it like this. Now, this was just the sensitivity. I basically halved the sensitivity down to about 20%. It doesn't feel totally stable, that's for sure. But it's not bad. It's, it's, a, it's a lot better than what it was. I'm just going to try and stay on target with this. If I can keep it close by, push to catch up with them. Struggling a little bit to keep up with them because I don't have the uh, my engine modes all set and stuff. Uh, but you normally wouldn't have that that in this tutorial anyway. So this is all about just trying to stay on target as much as you can. If you get the speed right, you should be able to stay. I still feel that I'm overcorrecting. Yeah, when I when I move left, I'm I'm overcorrecting too much. So I need to fix that. Right. So into controls again. Let's see what this mouse power curve does, right? So just bang that all the way to the right instead of the left. And apply. Resume. Now, I definitely feel a lot more sluggish. I need to go a lot further with the mouse to do anything. But it is far more stable. Uh, apart from an up and down, which still seems a little bit too, you know, too much. But left and right certainly feels way better in my rolling anyway. But yeah, I'm able to I'm able to stay once I get onto it, I'm able to stay I'm quite decently on target. Very slow turning there though. So really it's all about finding something that you like. I think maybe if I put the mouse power curve down to about half. Keep the sensitivity as it is. Uh, the only other one we haven't looked at now is the dead zone. Well, let's see how it goes with the power curve at half. Yeah, I feel like if you feel like you're pushing too far on the mouse in order to get the required movement, then you know you either need to change the sensitivity or maybe the problem here is like the dead zone. Yeah, so. If I go back into options and put my dead zone down, way down actually, let's say about 10%. And I don't feel like I need to push quite so far in order to get the same same kind of result. And yet I'm still able to stay on target pretty well. Yeah? Now, I'm going to say something else about sensitivity here, right? So, what you're really trying to achieve with the sensitivity, let's bang it all the way up to the top, just to prove this point. Right, now, you can see that's just crazy sensitivity it's set to, yeah? I can't even get close to the center of the screen because the sensitivity is off the charts. Put it to half. And although I can control it, it's still way too sensitive, yeah? Now, my mouse goes up to 1600 DPI. I've currently got it set at 400 DPI. So this is how it will be with 
you know, a low quality cheap mouse. Uh, I can set, I can change it to like 800. This is at 1600 DPI now. You can see I've got way more control over it at, at, at the sensitivity. Yeah, so it depends on what your mouse is set to. If you've got a 1600 DPI mouse, then this is actually pretty good uh, at half settings and it feels smooth and stuff. But if you've only got like a 400 DPI mouse, this is it set to 800 now. And now we're back to 400. If you've only got a 400 DPI or lower mouse, then you're going to have to put your, your sensitivity way down, about 20% or, or possibly even less. Uh, And now you can see, I've got the full range, I've got the close in. You can see how the triangle's a, a bit darker as it's closer to the, the cross here. And it gets, you know, the further you move out, the brighter it gets. You want to get that full range because you do want to be able to, you know, a little bit to turn, slowly. You do want to get that full range, and so you need to get the sensitivity right. Um, just for the way that suits you, how, how far that you want to move you know, the actual mouse on your desktop in order to get that full range of movement. I better be careful here. I'm getting shot at by the solar fluke. Right, so he's boosted away there. It's another good thing to listen for, it's the boost. Followed by boosting after him, after him sorry. Yeah, this is basically me just showing that you know, even with a really cheap mouse, a low quality, low DPI mouse, this mine's set to 400 right now. You can still play the game. I've, I've only spent, what, 5-10 minutes now trying to fix this up. But once you get that sensitivity, See, I'm still doing a little bit of overcorrecting there. One of the most important things is just the time that you spend, uh, you know, trying to get this sorted out. A slight little bigger dead zone might help that overcorrection slightly. Let's put it up to about 20, yeah. Now, if you feel that you're only overcorrecting in one of the, uh, the axes, then you can actually just Put your dead zone down to zero here. And you can change it, you know, simply on the roll. Or if you think your pitch is too much, you know, add a big dead zone to your up and down instead of your roll. It does have other knock-on effects though when you do that, yeah? So, you, you, it really is just a case of you you have to find what you're really comfortable with. Do you do you want the extra sensitivity that gives you, you know, the faster movement left and right, but at the expense of, you know, accuracy? Uh, and that's the end of the solar fluke. Target destroyed. But I think once you get the sensitivity right, then, you know, you're, you're, you're certainly halfway there. You can then mess around with, with uh, your other sensitivity and with your dead zone. Uh, but it's definitely doable. I mean, I, I wasn't using any fine control there. I wasn't using thrusters. I wasn't using yaw or anything. Uh, I could easily have blown, you know, that ship away in, in one move, basically. Uh, but that's, that's with a relatively low mouse setting, 400 DPI. Any mouse, you should be able to, you know, you should at least be able to stay on target so long as you've got your sensitivity sorted out like that. Uh, set a little bit of a dead zone so you're not, you know, wiggling left and right all the time. Uh, and that's pretty much that for that. So, the next video we'll have a look at defeating the Sidewinder and the Sidewinder face-off. It's obviously a lot more difficult and that'll bring in some of the, you know, some of the other options that you've got, the flight, uh, flight power and stuff like that. So that's going to be quite an interesting one, uh, and this is where you basically learn how to dogfight properly. So I hope you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.